Hi everybody, how are you all doing? Hope you're having a good week so far. It is Thursday, the uh, ooh, 17th of October 2013, and here we are, episode 2 of Arrow titled Identity. Oh my god, explosive, explosive, explosive. Featuring China White, played by Kelly Hu, and guest starring Michael J. White <laughs> as Bronze Tiger, um, another DC Comics uh, character and that's been brought into live action um, medium and um, well what's the story for this episode okay um, the Glades Memorial um, where they've been getting supplies uh, medical supplies uh, for the people who were affected by uh, you know what happened at the, se in the se last season's finale um, at the Glades um, their supply has been they're, they're getting stolen basically um, no one knows who who's been stealing them or what reason as well um, but we later find out that Triad and China White are involved and um, so Roy Harper is actually seen um, I believe chasing after said criminals um, in a car and uh, gets apprehended by the police and gets arrested um, so that doesn't bode well for him um, but what is very interesting is that he's got a red arrow now he's armed just a bit, a bit more dangerous though. Um, so that's his destiny calling in some sense. Um, Thea is not happy about the fact that he got arrested. Um, not only that, now I know that last week I never really spoke about Laurel and her father. Um, probably for good reason as well because what the hell has happened to Laurel? Seriously guys, she has just become, I don't know, I she's a different person and I really hope that the character really does change you know as, as the season goes on because I don't like this version of Laurel there's just something really off about her the way that she's behaving towards you know the hood um, she blames the hood for Tommy's death she thinks he killed Tommy um, but she has no idea as to what really happened and I'm just waiting for the day that when Oliver does eventually reveal the truth to Laurel and we come back to this point, you know, where she's wanting to take him down. She's been wanting to take him down since, you know, what she saw regarding what she thought had happened to Tommy. And um, she's now actually working for the SCPD. Um, so she's a lawyer stroke police officer in some sense. It's like doing two jobs at once kind of thing um, so yeah I really really hope that that changes as time goes on she has no idea what went on and I can see why the writers and producers are going for that sort of path as it were um, you know try and get her to push Oliver as much as possible as the hood to see if he if he'll eventually reveal himself to her we'll see um, so anyway, um, yeah, back to uh, Oliver and Felicity. Right, so because the title, is, title is, the title of this episode is called Identity, now Oliver realises that not just himself, but also Felicity and Diggle all need identities so that, you know, they've got a cover for their nightly activities. And Felicity straight away does not like the fact that she now has to be Oliver Queen's secretary. <laughs> I can feel for her in some sense, to be honest. Um, she specialises in IT. Why the hell she should be getting him cups of coffee? <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, so, but Diggle's line was awesome. It could be worse. <laughs> he could just be his black limo driver. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was, that was just hilarious. Seriously, I was like, Diggle, I'm glad you said that. <laughs> black limo driver. That's, that's an identity and a half. Probably the best identity to have, to be honest. <laughs> no one will suspect the black limo driver, will they? Um, anyway, so yeah. So what was been going on with the with the, uh, with the Glades? As I say, the Glades Memorial. There's um, there's a guy who's actually speaking on the news by the name of Sebastian Blood. Um, straight away, I thought of Brother Blood. Who knows? We might be heading down that way. We're still expecting the. Um, Ra's al Ghul and uh, League of Shadows, hopefully, or League of Assassins, even to to appear at some point in the in 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 the second season. So that'd be interesting. Hopefully, that is still happening. Um, so yeah, well, actually, no, that is still happening. Sorry. 
Um, so yeah, so Sebastian Blood is basically, he turns his attention to Oliver, um, he's not happy about what's happened with the glaze, he blames Oliver because obviously his mum was involved and uh, Oliver's trying to right their wrongs in some sense, you know, the same way they did with his dad last, last season. So with all that going on, um, Oliver decides to throw a fundraiser. Um, in some sense, you know, for, for the Glades, you know, ha as a little party, but he didn't show up because he went after China White and Bronze Tiger because eventually Felicity tracked down who was stealing the supplies. So when that when that went down, the fight scene, the first fight scene between Bronze Tiger and uh, the Hood was pretty slick because um, Michael J. White is a is a well known martial artist. He he is really really. Good and um, and if you don't know who who I'm talking about in terms of Michael J. White, he is the guy that played Spawn from this movie of said name in 1997. So look it up, have a watch. It's very creepy, but quite interestingly awesome as well. Um, so yeah, the fight between them was pretty good. Uh, some ways, Bronze t in this version of Bronze Tiger is like a black Wolverine, <laughs> if you ask me. Um, he's even got the leather jacket going on as well. Um, so he's working with China White, as I say. Um, stealing these supplies um, that are good, supposed to be going to the Glaze Memorial, um, you know, you, you can easily tell that Oliver is sort of out of be out of his depth in some sense. Um, then there's the issue with Diggle. Um, Felicity brought up a thing about Diggle and Carly, which I was quite sad about. Um, so yeah, Diggle and Carly unfortunately are no more. Damn. Um, you can understand why, because he still feels hatred towards uh, Deadshot for what he did to his brother and as far as he's concerned his brother's dead Deadshot's still alive that just doesn't seem right for, as far as he's concerned so he's got to put that he's got to set the record straight on that sense um, what else have we got um, like I say I'm still I'm still not happy with what's happened with Laurel Thea as well at the same time I mean she gives Roy an ultimatum and um, whether or not he decides to act upon it is a whole different matter because if you saw towards the end of the episode the hood eventually meets up with Roy and they have a little chat um, what went down oh, let's just say Roy's, Roy, Roy has made his choice we'll see how it works out for him um, back on the island um, obviously you know we're still, we're still getting the flashbacks Shadow and Oliver have a moment and I think we were also given a hint, a hint of just what or how or who could make both Oliver and Slade sworn enemies. I'm not saying anymore. <laughs> um, but uh, if you saw last week's episode, you saw that Oliver killed a man for the first time on the island. And that's that's really got some repercussions. It's, it's, it's made him feel different. In a sense, he is he ha he is ridden with guilt, um, having killed a man for the first time, which goes to, you know, what happened in last week's episode with the hoods that he didn't want to kill them anymore. He didn't want to kill people anymore, and he's still stuck to his word. He hasn't killed anyone um, so far. Um, but as I say, last week's episode, it was it was interesting to see how he was able to come to that stage to kill someone because Shadow was, you know, captured and almost killed herself. Um, so he's having to ride that weight on his shoulders as such and in a sense Sh Shadow has helped him ease it off in, in a way um, but yeah so so there's that going on on the island um, but the ending the, 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 the absolute ending of the episode was a corker seriously what an ending what a cliffhanger I can't wait for next week's episode titled Broken Dolls Black Canary is back we're going to see how this one unfolds so um I look forward to it. Anyway, that's all from me. Thank you all very much for watching. See you all very soon. Bye.